Hey y'all, it's your girl Carissa, and I'm on Who That with Mr. Timmy. Judge me, baby. It's your boy Tim A and here with Carissa Smith. So Carissa, let the people know who you are, who you be, where you come from. But first of all, who are you? How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. Um, my name is Carissa. I'm 22 and I am a singer slash songwriter. So the first time I heard you sing it was at Miles, I think it was Christmas Showcase. Mm -hmm. so was that 2015? That was really 2016. 2016, no man, that was the 2015. The 2015. Mm -hmm. 2015. And so people of Miles are music artists, vocalist showcase. I'm um, usually let artists come out. Um, they have two summer winter. They sing Christmas songs in the summer and in the Christmas story. And I heard that, and I was like, what caught me wasn't how you sang the song, how you sang the songs, but it was the Bohemian song you did and how much charisma and spunk you sang it with. Mm -hmm. So let me know where that come from. Like, who who did you hear when you was younger? Um, international. But I really want to know the Bohemian artists you heard, because I saw it come through at Miles. Like, mm -hmm. let me know your inspiration. Well, to be honest, I really wasn't exposed to, I guess secular Bahamian music at a young age. I basically got my charisma from my mom. She's very charismatic. She is who I am. Basically, I am her. <laughs> we is one. We is one. One family. That's real talk. So you, tell me, so you didn't um, come up with secular music. Tell me, tell me about church. Was it the church like most people? Tell me yeah. about your upbringing. Yes, I grew up in church. My parents are now pastors. Yeah, my uncle. Oh, so you, you come a, a, long, a long road. Yeah. <laughs> well, I grew up in church at a very young age, and I started singing at five or six. When I was in K-5, I started singing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now, how, how did you get from that to where you are now? Because most, most artists I talk to are males, and it's easier for them to come on from the church and do mm -hmm. the music they do now. But I think for sometimes in, this, in our society, it's harder for a girl to come on from the church and actually do mm -hmm. shake up, wind up, sensual like this all mine. So. I know. And this is, this is a, a bit much of my parents. I apologize. <laughs> but I was in the National Youth Choir for six years. So that kind of exposed me to a lot of different genres because we didn't just do classical. We did Bahamian, um, African. We did African music. We did German, everything. So I was exposed to, I guess, different types of culture and different genres from the Bahamas National Youth Choir. So just uh, even so, like I asked earlier, so who, are, who do you look up to, whether it be international and international singers-wise, male or female? Who do you look up to? Who do you try to model love after? Who do you look at as, that's where I want to go? Well, to be honest, Bodine and Wendy, they're like, and Lady E, they're my favorite, all-time favorites. I love them. I look up to them. They are very charismatic. And I think to be able to stand out as a female, you have to have that charisma, that drive, I guess, that... You should have had your... They said you should have been charisma. Charisma? <laughs> I mean, it ain't too late for... It ain't too far. You just out, out of M. <laughs> it ain't too far from my real name, but yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, all mine, you can hear in the background now. Um, talk to me about her songwriting. You have to write it, produce it, and that video. I was like, I like watching BET and cut what's happening in this video. Talk to me about <laughs> all mine. I, I, I first heard it, it's about four weeks now, I think. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about that song. Well, I wrote this for an ex boyfriend. Yeah, so that's basically who it was for. And we broke up. But I was like, this song is like too good for me like to put to rest because mm -hmm. the relationship is dead. So I collaborated with my cousin, Sean P. He's a rapper. Mm -hmm. Check him out on Facebook. Um, and Jay Isaacs helped us with the vision of the video. And then everything flourished from there. And here we are. So just bring in the song a bit. but uh, the all So I, I don't want you to get too deep into your own I emotions. Know. I mean, say that. But... <laughs> <laughs> Cause I, I really, I really appreciate the songwriting we have in, in the country. Mm. We have so many talented people here in this country. It's amazing. It's mind blowing how creative and talented we have. We have, we are. Our Bahamians are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just to ask you another question, um, but you kind of also answered for me. So I knew when I started the volume I was about, I knew about um, the band um, Jam Session. I knew about that. I wanted to ask you how the hell did they get Chris Rowe, but now that's your cousin. <laughs> so let's talk to me about it because. The whole point of food that is to get to a point where you are, mm -hmm. to be able to work full time and make enough money to pay bills as mm -hmm. an artist. And people, this is important. This is very important. This young lady here. You could see her Bangma Monday, Wednesday, and Friday? Yes, but 
time to change from Sunday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Her full-time job is performing in a band. She makes more money than I make singing. <laughs> singing, which means... Which means my goal, what I want for my daughter, is already in motion. She works full time singing. This is so important. This is where I want the country to be, where our artists, because most artists I know work jobs. Mm -hmm. So talk to me about mom. Talk to me because this is, you might not feel like this for you, because mm -hmm. you know you used to get in the game. But I've been doing this for four years, and like what you do right now is my vision for the country. So mm -hmm. to me, this is a big damn deal. So let me know how what this means to you that you could wake up every morning. You, you don't have to perform till 7 o'clock at night. Tell me about how what well, this means that you could wake up and sing for a living. Oh, this is this is a dream come true for me. I have been wanting to do this for such a long time. Um, I study biochemistry in college, but I guess Bahamian society tells us to be lawyers, doctors, this and that, but just follow your dream. You will make more money doing what you love to do than doing what people tell you to do. And just talk to me about the band, um, the members, the type of music you all do, um, how you even joined the band, other than Sean B being your cousin. Just talk to me about that. Well, I just found out he's my cousin like a couple months ago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but we, he's always been like my brother. I went to COB, well, UB now, and I sang for the very first time there in college. Well, not for the very first time, but I sang there, and Sean P heard me, mm -hmm. and he was like, okay. Let's do this game. Look how life is. Look how life is work out. Like I, I found family that where we, you know, we family we link up with this, and we find out we's family. So it's, my parents always say it's funny how you find each other mm -hmm. in life. And the band, we are legit a family. They are my brothers, my sisters, my cousins. It's just it's it's a real, real healthy unit of people. So while I get something for you, I'm just holding the mic for me. Okay. Let people know where they could find you on social media. Okay. Well, on Facebook, um, you could find me on Carissa, YouTube at Carissa Official, and on Instagram, Carissa242. And lastly, you might as well know you watch the other episodes. My friend, I'm Victoria Lightburn, the CEO of Bahama Bulls. She wants, she's a sponsor of the freestyle segment of the Who That. And she makes um, Bahamian ties. So I told her that this will be you'll be the first female to get one, the first lady. And um, she made a tie. I told you what I you do. Yeah, okay. I told her what you do. I tell her what you sing in the band full time. So, so she wanted to make sure. Um, she wanted to make sure you you look good when you sing on the stage at Bahama with um, you know the what's it called, the, food, the, food. the jam session band. So. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> live camera, shame on live camera. So now, I'm imagine, you, you, oh, you on point. Even though the classroom that you're wearing right now, so imagine us singing when you come to Bahama. Pardon? Imagine, so I, I don't know, imagine <laughs> you when you grow up, you wearing your, and you're coming like a, a, a big, a big night. And this is a, Bah this a Bahamian bow tie. Oh. Bahamian hands, Bahamian so material. This is Bahamian, I'm going to wear this everywhere, okay? I'm all, I'm all for supporting my Bahamian people. All for it. So. so this is Carissa Smith. Check out all my future and Sean P on YouTube. I'm Tim and you watching Who That? Oh my, no oh my, yeah. Oh my, no oh my, oh 